everybody, welcome back to White Bully Soaps. We are making whip soap. I'm going to do a hot cocoa. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually scraping out um, a 16 ounce container of foaming bath whip. So I'm just going to continue scraping. I'm going to do both containers. I'll make up the base recipe as I'm doing right now. I will do all my additives minus the fragrance. And I will split it off to mix in the fragrance oil. So I will bring you back when we start adding something different besides this stuff. <laughs> Now you could have whipped this to peaks before you added those in and it, I've done it both ways and I found that it doesn't matter either way. It just saves time to just do it all at once. Uh, some prefer to do it one over the other. I, like I said, it doesn't seem to bother my mix at all. So I have been mixing now for about five minutes and they, as you can see, it's definitely gotten about, you know, three quarters of the size that we started with. And this will be, uh, I will be fluffing this up a little bit more. It is, it is very light, but I can feel the thickness in it, and it needs to be a little more moussey. Okay, so we have been mixing for a total of about 12 minutes now. And I feel like we've now reached that peak consistency where... Basically, a stiff peak is when, is this right here? So, uh, it feels very moussey and light. And that's what we want. Now, I'm going to be mixing this a little bit more when I put my fragrance oil in. So, I'm going to call this good. I'm going to split this off. And we're going to be mixing up some fragrance in it. This smells just like hot chocolate. My goodness. It's a very chocolate brown too. Let's see where this brings us. Where it's white, I knew it was going to be a little bit tough to try to get that chocolate color, but I think we're getting it. That's a good contrast. That looks fantastic. Yay! And one of the reasons I use the uh, press and seal is so I can change out my bag, my piping bag, because I use this big bag. And what I do is I put the product in the press and seal, and that sort of creates like a throwaway pastry bag almost. And it's really, very, very helpful in the situation like I'm doing right now, where I'm doing multiple scents in different colors. So... We need to clean these. I'm going to clean off these little beaters here and I will bring you back. One more little mix before we get going. Here we go, friends. Can you even see what I'm doing? Okay, perfect. Okay, let's do this. So now, this is the magic right here. Take your little log 
and you decide to throw them right in here, slide it in your bag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, just a little dollop in here just to get things moving. This bag is ridiculously big and I certainly don't need one this big, but hey, we're here, right? Just making sure all my product is down at the end of my bag here. So if you look down in my bag, you can see that there is no mess. I'm going to take out this. And all there really is is a mess in the tip. And that's one of the reasons I like to use the press and seal. And now with the press and seal, what I'll do is I'll just take my hand and I'll work the product that's left over in here down to the end and I will put it in my little tester. Because yes, there is some still in here. may not be a large amount, but it'll be enough to use and test. Be able to test the fragrance amount and you know the color and everything. And there's Mama's tester. So now what I'll do is I will take my tip out and I will wash and sanitize it and get it ready for the next one. So what I'm going to do to finish these guys out, these are the hot cocoa, my hot cocoa whip soaps. I'm only doing a few of these. Basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some uh, brown mica and I'm just going to dust the top and put some glitter on, take some pictures and call it good. I appreciate you joining us and watching this whip soap. I'm actually going to make more of this tonight and I will probably film that but I'll put it in a different video. Again I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!